So what's the deal with all these nozzles they give you when you purchase a rotor? Today in this video, we're going to show you exactly which one of these to choose for your situation. I'm Dwayne Smith, your Sprinkler Warehouse Product Specialist. Let's get started. In order to talk about nozzle selection, we need to quickly cover the concept of match precipitation. Let's say you have one rotor that goes 360 degrees, another rotor going 180 degrees, and another rotor only covering 90 degrees, and they're all in the same zone. And they all have the same nozzle installed. The 180 degree rotor will cover the same patch of grass twice for each time the 360 degree rotor goes around once. So that patch of grass serviced by the 180 degree rotor gets twice as much water as the patch watered by the 360 degree rotor. And the rotor that goes 90 degrees will cover the same patch of lawn four times for every one time the 360 degree rotor will turn. So you need to pick and install nozzles in such a way to balance that out. Your full circle rotors should have a nozzle installed that has twice the flow rate of your half circles and your half circle rotors should have a nozzle with twice the flow rate of your quarter circle rotors. Let's take a look at the nozzle chart and nozzle tree. Nozzle charts are often included with the purchase of your rotor, and if you didn't get one, you can find the chart for your particular rotor on sprinklerwarehouse.com. Most residential rotor manufacturers assume an ideal water pressure of 45 PSI. You probably don't know your exact water pressure, and that's fine. Let's just assume it's 45 PSI. If we use the number eight nozzle for the full circle, you can see that at 45 PSI, it has a flow rate of about eight gallons per minute. So we choose a nozzle with half that flow rate for the half circle. The number four nozzle has a flow rate of roughly four gallons per minute. And the number two nozzle has a flow rate of roughly two gallons per minute. So we'll choose that one for the quarter circle. Here's another chart laid out differently, but with similar information. The number eight nozzle at 45 PSI has a flow rate of eight gallons per minute. The number four has four gallons per minute and the number two has two gallons per minute. And we're done. Okay, not really. There's another issue. Will your sprinkler system have enough water pressure for these nozzles? Most residential irrigation systems have a water pressure of 16 to 18 gallons per minute. So what if one zone of your yard looks like this? We have one full circle rotor, it gets eight gallons per minute, three half circle rotors at four gallons per minute, and two quarter circle rotors at two gallons per minute. So add all that together and we have 24 gallons per minute. Our system cannot support that. Oh no. So let's slide over on the chart. We'll use a six gallons per minute nozzle for the full circle, three gallons per minute nozzles for our half circles, and half of three gallons per minute is one and a half, so one and a half gallons per minute nozzles for our two quarter circle rotors. And our grand total of gallons per minute for the zone is 18 gallons per minute, much better. So you probably don't know your exact gallons per minute that your system can support, and that's okay. Here's what you do. Try it and see what works. Install the nozzles based on the formula of making sure that your half circles get twice the flow rate of your quarter circles and that your full circles get twice the flow rate of your half circles. Turn on the system and see if the nozzles are putting out a decent stream of water. Here's what a good rotor stream looks like. And here's one that's under pressured. If it doesn't look right, go to a smaller flow rate for your nozzles. Now the tendency is to get frustrated that your quarter circle nozzles look like they're not putting out enough water. They don't have quite the pretty spray pattern that the full and half circles do. But that's the point. In a properly nozzled system, the quarter circles are going to look a little sad by comparison. That means you're doing things right, as long as your spray is reaching the next rotor over, which it should. That's called head-to-head -head coverage. The rotor sprays need to overlap each other for even coverage. A few manufacturers have also come up with easy to use nozzle selection solutions. I'm not going to cover all of them here, but here are a few examples. One example is the Rainbird NPR nozzles. Choose which set you want to use by choosing the radius, that's your watering distance, and then pick the nozzle based on whether it will be used for a full circle, half, third, or quarter circle pattern. Another example is Hydra Rain's HRX rotor. It has the easy to match precipitation nozzle system where nozzle number one is your quarter circle, number two is your half circle, number three is your three quarter circle, and number four is your full circle. 
One more consideration in choosing nozzles. Do you live in a particularly windy area? You should use the low angle nozzles. These nozzles have a lower trajectory. Otherwise, the wind is going to blow away much of the water that you paid for. Many manufacturers include low angle nozzles with their rotor, often indicated by an LA or an L on the nozzle number. If they are not included with the rotor, most rotors do have additional nozzles that can be purchased separately, including low angle nozzles. So that's the quick and easy basics on how to choose nozzles for your rotors. Order your rotors and extra nozzles on sprinklerwarehouse.com. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything you need to make your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens lush and beautiful. Questions? Chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really do know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction. Sprinkler Warehouse, America's most shop sprinkler store.